Barakatay Yahweh, Barakatay Yahweh Shai, Kol Halayim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barachah Kodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world only called Jesus Christ. Barachah Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, only we can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. <clears throat> this is Brother Mathati from the Great Millstone Camp, the branch on Des Moines. And um, not sure what I'm going to title this lesson just yet. But, um, <laughs> you know, uh, just meditating on, you know, how extremely blessed we are, you know, to be able to, to see the things we see, to be able to understand the things we understand. Matter of fact, let's go to Matthew, the 13th chapter. And this should give us more confidence through the Holy Spirit. You know, that we have to be those men, humbly speaking, you know, humbly speaking, man. And may Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai allow us to endure unto the end, as it says in Matthew, the 24th chapter. But this is Matthew 13 and 11. He answered it. As a matter of fact, I started 10. And the disciples came unto him. I'm sorry. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you. To know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So we got to keep in mind that these things are mysteries, right? So the majority of Israel is not going to be able to see the things that we see. They're not going to be able to understand the things that the Holy Spirit have allowed us to understand through the grace of our Lord, right? When you go into this word mysteries, it's the Greek word um, <clears throat> musterion. And it says a, a hidden thing, a secret, a mystery. Generally, mysteries, religious secrets confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals, man. <laughs> you see, and what's being made manifest is that a lot of these guys who call themselves Israelites, they're just ordinary mortals. They're ordinary Israelites, though they trying to put on the act as if they are prophet. They trying to put on the act as if they some great teacher or order, you know. Well, really, in all actuality, these guys is just. Like it says in Romans, uh, the 16th chapter, all they have is good, uh, good speeches, right? Well, how, how's it worded? With fair words and good speeches, you know, that's deceiving the hearts of the simple, man. Because the scripture speaks about the mystery of the gospel, right? Let's just type in mystery. How many times it pops up? 22 verses. It's a good one. Romans 16, 25. <clears throat> now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Yahweh Shahamashiach, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began. To keep silence, hope to be kept in silence, be concealed. <laughs> that was kept secret, man, that the Lord is now revealing unto his elect. Through the Holy Spirit, right? Through the sacrifice that our Lord Yahweh Shai made over 2,000 years ago. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 7. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which the Most High ordained before the world unto our glory. So only certain individuals would be able to understand this. And that's exactly what the Lord told Ezra in in. in, in multiple occasions right I believe the first one was uh the eighth chapter his second edge is eight and 62 it says matter of fact i'll start at 60 it says but they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them and were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them and therefore is my judgment now at hand so we're gonna see the judgment of y'all about sham y'all shall ramp up more and more in these coming days man we already see that uh, uh, earthquake over there, right? Uh, in, in in Turkey, bordering Syria, <laughs> you know, and it said over, over twenty seven uh, hundred people have been reported dead, in the in the death toll is only going is only rising, man. And we're going to see the Lord bring forth judgment on these false prophets, these false teachers, man, because the scriptures tell us it's another thing that we should be extremely thankful for him you know this is um man this is a good one this is not what i was looking for but i i grab it 
Sirach 3 and 26, a stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last, and he that loveth danger shall perish therein. So these guys who are stubborn, and what did uh, uh, Samuel tell us in the book of 1 Samuel, the 15th chapter, he told that to Saul, that rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as the sin of idolatry, man. So these guys are going to be found out to be idolaters. They're not serving in uh, uh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai in truth and in sincerity. And that's going to be manifested, man. Because it's already known unto the, uh, you know, uh, uh, unto the true teachers, right? Because you can clearly see that these guys ain't speaking as the oracles of the Heavenly Father. So therefore, they ain't sent by the Lord. But it's going to be made manifest to the rest of the, uh, you know, uh, uh, of Israel. Even the people within their own congregation, man, it's going to be manifested that these guys are fake, phony, and frauds. Verse 27, an obstinate heart shall be laden with sorrows, and the wicked man shall heap sin upon sin. And that's exactly what we see in these guys do by going uh, uh, against the grain, man. By going against what 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 what, what um, the scriptures uh, tell us. This is the one I was looking for, Sirach four and twenty five, and no wise speak against the truth, and that's what these guys are doing. <laughs> They're speaking against the truth, man. Right? It says, "But be abashed of the error of thy ignorance." So these guys are supposed to be ashamed. Of their error. Right? They err not knowing the scripture. So that was supposed to humble them guys and be like, damn, we really don't know what we think we know, man. But instead, what are they doing? They're becoming more proud. They're rebelling more and more. And they're speaking against the truth. As it is written in the book of Acts. Um, what is that? Is that the 12th chapter? <clears throat> Is it the 12th chapter? Because it speaks about contradicting. Yep, it's Acts 13. Acts 13, 45. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy. And spake against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. And I want that part about contradicting and blaspheming, man. Because <clears throat> that's exactly what you uh, uh, see from these guys when they open their mouths, man. <laughs> Trying to prove their doctrine, which don't make no sense. That's how you know it's of men and it's not of the Heavenly Father. But let's read this again and then go back. Sirach. 4 and 25 and no wise speak against the truth but be abashed of the air of thy ignorance man so let's go back to the eighth chapter that's why the, ju the judgment of the lord is now at hand man because these guys are speaking against the truth right verse 62 second edges 8 and 62 these things have i showed i'm sorry these things have i not showed unto all men but unto thee and a few like thee so this haven't been manifested to everybody, man. Let's go over to the 13th chapter. This second edge is 13. And verse Salakia. Or is it the 14th chapter? I know where it is in my book. Let me just type it in. The 10th chapter. <clears throat> this is 2nd Edges 10 and 56. And then shalt thou hear as much as thy ears may comprehend. For thou art blessed above many other and are called with the highest and so are but few. So a, a lot of guys, once again, is not going to have been granted to understand this, man. This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid to hinder the knowledge of a thing, whoo, to cover up, <laughs> right? But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. When you go into this word lost, it goes into those that are perishing, man, ruined, destroyed. You see, to declare that one must be put to death. Destroy fully. You see that? 
So if our gospel be hid, if a guy can't get it, it's because the Lord has ordained that guy to be destroyed, man. So, man, man, matter of fact, I'm glad this one popped up in Mark because let me scroll down. To verse. Uh, it is the fourth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, verse 33. Mark 4 and 33, and with many such parables spake he the word unto them as they were able to hear it. But without a parable spake he not unto them, meaning Yahweh spoke to the multitude all in parables. Right? Because going back to that Matthew 13, it was given unto the disciples, the men who he called, right? Going back to that address, he didn't show it to many, uh, into a lot of people, man. Right? So it says, but without a parable speak he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. We speak wisdom among them that are perfect. <clears throat> he expounded those things when they were alone. Right. Like it says in the book of Daniel, man, there is a, a power in heaven. But let's get that, man. <laughs> that revealeth. Or do it say God in heaven? Yeah. Daniel 2 and 19, it says, then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in the night vision. Then Daniel blessed the power of heaven. <laughs> and we should be blessing Yahweh that we're able to see, you know, these visions, man. That we able to understand the things that our forefathers have seen is verse 28. It says, matter of fact, let me see 27. It says Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said the secret which the king have demanded cannot the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, the soothsayers show unto the king. But there is a God in heaven that revealeth secrets and maketh known to the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall be in the latter days. Thy dream and the visions of thy head upon thy bed are these. And, um, there's another, I want to say this is the same account. And Daniel made us, man, the Wadi Abashim Yahushua, verse 30. Matter of fact, I keep reading. Verse 29, as for thee, O king, thy thoughts came into thy mind upon thy bed, what should come to pass hereafter. And he that revealeth secrets makes it known to thee what shall come to pass, right? And these things were written for our learning. Verse 30. But as for me, this secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom that I have more than any living. But for their sake, that shall make known the interpretation to the king and that thou may, mightest know the thoughts of thy heart. So Daniel said it wasn't no, you know, extra wisdom or because I'm extra smart that I figured this out. But that the power in heaven, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, hath given me such knowledge and has revealed these things unto me. And it's the same thing as today, man. Starting with Apostle Taha on down. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai have opened our hearts in order to be able to, to see these things, speak these things, and warn our people of what's to come. Right? So let's go back. <clears throat> Ephesians 1. In eight, it says, wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he hath purposed in himself, man. <laughs> you see, so it's the most high's will, you know, to reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. And it's going to be made manifest, right? Then shall it be known it was a prophet amongst them. Start with our apostles on down. This is the book of Amos 3 and 7. Surely, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. When you go into that word secret, it's the Hebrew word sawad, sawada, sawad, which is counsel. Secret counsel. <laughs> Company of persons. Intimacy, consultation, a secret, you see? So these things ain't made manifest to everybody, man. So when we speak these things, man, a lot of people ain't going to get it, <laughs> you know, because the Holy Spirit is speaking from heaven. 
unto us, man. And keep in mind when 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 the voice of angels was uh, heard at different times, right? <clears throat> like for instance, the time of our Lord Yahweh Shai. This is Saint John twelve and twenty eight. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. He says, "Father, glorify Thy name." Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. The people, therefore, that stood by and heard it said that it thundered. Others said an angel spake to him. So others heard the voice. Others didn't. <laughs> so it's, going, it's the same thing that's playing out in today's time. We're speaking these things, but these guys are hearing thundering, man. It's a mystery unto them. They can't get it. While others... It's, it's made plain, you know, it's clear as day, right? Now, let's go back. And, you know, I ain't going to make this long and drawn. I'm going to get ready to close this out. Um, Ephesians 3 and 3, how that by revelation, he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote a four in few words. Same thing as the Lord has done by, uh, unto us. Whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Yahweh Shai. <laughs> man and what once again <clears throat> this greek word for mystery is mysterion which is religious secrets confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals man colossians 1 and 26 verse 25 wherefore i am made a minister according to the dispensation of the heavenly father which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of the Most High, even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Those who are being sanctified through the word as it is written in St. John 17, 17. The rest of Israel will be sanctified. They will be called saints again in the kingdom of heaven, man. Once they, once they, uh, 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 um, how is it word in the second edges nine? The same must know it after death by pain. You know, so we're blessed above all men, man. You know, matter of fact, I think I'm a, um, I'm a title it. For thou art blessed above many other, you know, us who are able to understand these things, man. And may Yahweh Basham Yahweh once again allow us to continue in it. So Lord, we all hope this was edifying to Yahweh Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I'm gonna give all praises on the glory too. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Barakha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity always in charity. You know, and you know, the spirit is on me to do this lesson just to keep in mind everybody ain't gonna be ain't gonna get it. So it ain't no need for us to get, you know, mad or riled up or frustrated. You know, it's the Heavenly Father that got an actual angel that's blinding these men from actually receiving what we're saying, man. And that's written in Isaiah, the sixth chapter, which I, if I to continue to read in Matthew 13, Yahweh Shah quoted that same exact, you know, precept, you know, so these guys going to slander us, man. They're going to talk shit. Keep in mind, we in good company with that as well. It's prophesied that they would speak evil of the truth, that they would speak evil of Yahweh Shah's men, you know? So once again, we are blessed above many other. Shalom.